Yo, what up guys? TR33 here, back in the studio, ready to work on some more music. So today I'm joined by Teddy. We're going to work on an instrument or dance song um, with some really big piano riff. So let's get straight into it, see how quick we can put this together. Let's go. I've been on a quest for the past few years to try and find the ultimate dance piano sound. And I've been through every single synth you can imagine, just trying to find that really overcompressed 90s sound, which we can get with the real basic pianos. But when you lay it down and compare its tracks nowadays, it just doesn't kind of stand up. So we've been through all kinds of sims. This is the kind of rhythm we're trying to get. So that was Serum's dan dance piano. Doesn't really sound that great. It doesn't even really sound like a piano too much. Um, so then I moved on to Contact's grand piano. And if you put the tone way up to hard, we can get like a... more of a dance piano sound. Actually a really nice sound, um, but it's still not that, it's just still not got that edge that the dance pianos have nowadays in um, kind of like Duke Dumont tracks and d other like dance songs, dance remixes what, that have the, that dance piano in it. Still not quite there. I mean, um, we can whack a load of compression on it and it'll get closer. But still not quite there. So then I moved on to Logic's basic dance piano, which has been there the whole time, which I never really thought about. And it's actually really good. Um, but then laying it down on tracks, I've used it on tracks, and then listened back to it. Kind of sounds like a bit of a cheap keyboard, really. It's, it's, it's not the greatest sampled piano. It's all right for getting basic ideas down, but it's nowhere near a finished record. And then all of a sudden, I found about the best house piano that I've ever found. And it's free. And it's by the lovely people at Echo Soundworks who make amazing, all kinds of amazing things. But this dance piano is probably one of my most used tools that I've got. And I can't believe that it's free. So just check out this sound. Perfect for what we need today. So we're going to start with this Echo Soundworks house piano. We've got a few different, a few different preset sounds, which are all, are all basically the same. Really, where's well, got good chords. So we'll put our projects up to 125 BPM and check this. Two, three, four, one, two. Should be about the right kind of tempo for what we need. Maybe one, two, four we'll go for today. And then we'll just lay something down. I'm thinking we start with some real. Simple chords. But just real meaty with a nice low bass. And then we'll have a drum roll with a rise all the way up to that typical 90s kind of rhythm. Chords are right. All right, let's get a clap so we can keep a bit of rhythm. Sounds like a hit straight away. Bit sloppy. A 
I mean, if you just listen compared to the grand piano. From Contact, or if we compare it to the Logic piano. Compare it to Serum. <laughs> All right, but then we put it on the Echo Soundworks house piano. All right, so that's the first thing, really, that I wanted to tell you about this house piano. I just can't believe it's free. It blows my mind. We've got a few little um, parameters to play with as well. Load the attack on it. Have it real big release. It's actually quite good for chords. And um, we can turn down the synth aspect to it. I mean, go and get yourself the Echo Soundworks house piano today. So let's get a build up in there. We've got some nice um, snares that we can use. Also, I'll have to take you through making these. I've made a lot of presets um, that I can just uh, say if I wanted a snare build in there. I've got them right here in the library ready to go. Just throwing together some elements in there to give it a bit of energy. Alright, so now we're getting to the drop section. We've done our little snare build. We've got a kick and a clap. We just need a hi hat, which will do. Nice open hi hat. Three, four. On the offbeat. Oh, it's already huge. We need a really good vocalist on this now. Ready? Let's go. Okay, a bit higher. That's the one. See with this Echo Soundworks piano, I've done hardly anything to it. I've literally just got a bit of compression on it and it sounds huge. So the next thing is a bass line. We're real close to just having this done. Okay, that's not a good bass. Let's get a real good bass. Let's get that down. Two, three, four. Right, a little wrong note there. It's no big deal at all. Let's not beat ourselves up about it. It. We're gonna be millionaires. Boom, we're done. All right. So one of the main ingredients, also, even though we haven't got a vocal, obviously, on top of this, which would be nice, but we don't. But it's no big deal because we've got some of these. So if we, this is just a part of a vocal that's been sampled. 
if we put a load of reverb on this, super nice. And then we can figure out what key it's in. Oh, all right. How quick is this song going to be done? We've been recording for 13 minutes. All right. Two, three, four. for me. All right, as you can see, we're turning up to 11 on the volume here. We're not holding back. All right, nice little fill. I've got some toms here um, in a sampler. Loads of different types of tom sounds. Um, and then I've put an ARP on the keyboard, so now I can just mash the keyboard with my fingers. Let me show you. This is, there's no talent to this. All right, it's different every time. But before the drop... <laughs> it sounds great. So let's just turn it down a little bit. I mean, that works for me. Cool. Right, we'll add a few little effects in there. Maybe this piano rhythm as well, just to get a bit of pace at the start. Could be in the intro, but we'll filter it down a little bit. So we'll just do that with an EQ rather than a filter. Take the top end off it, just so it sounds like it's in a different room. Latch the automation and then... Uh, also, a cool little trick that a lot of the, the house dudes do is rather than at the end of a break having a fill, we have it right at the very start. So um, just halfway through our drop here, what we're going to do is on the first beat, we'll just chop all the instruments out and then take this kick and just put two of them in there. So we yeah, just have a random little break. And then we can maybe have a little bit of extra percussion there. So let's listen from the start of where we're up to.
wicked. So now we're just going to structure out the track a little bit and then we'll have a listen to the finished product. So we've added in a few effects, we've done a little bit of mixing, but not, not much really. We've just put a few little sprinkles on top of it and we've got a great track. So thanks so much for watching this video. Check out ESW House Pianos. It's free, so you might as well install it and get making some house tracks. Um, but for now, enjoy listening to this tune. Thanks so much for coming with me. And we'll be back again with another track from Teddy. All right, peace.